friends, this is Dustin. I'm one of the guides with Wyoming Anglers wanting to welcome you to this instructional video. In this series of instructional videos, we are gonna be going over basic techniques of casting that will help you become more successful when you are out in the water. You know, one of the things that's intimidating for anglers the first time they begin to get into fly fishing is the cast itself. And the reason is, is because many of us come from a background of using traditional spinning tackle where we have a bait or lure with a lot of mass attached to a thin piece of mono that doesn't have a lot of mass. And so what our cast is, is a long, slow arc back into a muscle forward. But in casting with a fly rod, we actually don't have that. It's kind of flipped. We have a very small fly that has no mass and a fly line that is our mass. And so one of the things that we remind each angler when they begin to get into fly fishing is that you're not casting your bug out or your fly out, you are casting the line out. And these rods are designed to do so. The first and most basic cast that we use in fly fishing is the overhand cast. The overhand cast will suffice in nearly every situation of fly fishing and is the most basic and prominent form that we utilize. It is done by initiating a flex in the rod that will propel our line and then unfold our flies into a very natural presentation for the fish. Now before we begin our casting, the first thing we want to focus on is how we are gripping the rod. We have a nice cork handle here that we want to grip firmly but not too tightly, almost like we are giving a handshake. We are going to control this with our dominant hand and our other hand is able to freely pull off fly line in order to load for our casts. Our first step is having our thumb firmly on top of the rod. Our thumb will direct the direction that the rod goes and thus the direction that our flies go. Our first step beyond that is loading the rod. With our non-dominant hand, we can freely spool off line that will be utilized to shoot out. Typically, our cast goes from 10 o'clock till two o'clock. Now, in different situations, that might shift. For example, if we are higher up at a higher plane to the water, we might finish lower at nine, maybe even eight o'clock. But our first cast is a fast acceleration to a sudden stop, a hesitation at the stop of our back cast, and then matching with the same acceleration forwards. So we have our back cast, hesitate, down. Back cast, load, down. Back cast, wait, down. A lot of times this is described as answering the telephone, talking, hanging up, or sometimes it's imagining that we have a paintbrush full of wet paint, splattering that paint on the ceiling, and then splattering on the wall in front of us. One of the things that we do wanna caution you for when you're casting is not to break the wrist. We want a nice firm wrist. It's not a big motion backwards either. It's nice, tight, quick acceleration and back down to have a great presentation of our flies to our fish. As we said a few moments ago, our non-dominant hand is in charge of controlling the amount of line we have. We need to begin by loading the rod, and this can be done through false casting. As we do it, we are feeding line through with each cast and then laying down to present our flies to our fish. Now, one of the things that we want to remember is that we are never letting line out on our back cast. It's always on our forward cast. Hey everyone, my name is Tyler. I'm the manager at Wyoming Anglers. Dustin just went over the overhand cast with you. Now I'm going to go over the roll cast with you. Now this cast is very convenient for those of you that are fishing smaller creeks or any area that's got substantial foliage behind you where you can't go into that full back cast like he was just showing you. So what this cast is actually going to do is it's going to keep line in in front of you at all times. And how we're gonna do that is there's no back cast, so there's none of this involved, okay? What we're going to do is we're actually simply going to drag those flies across the water. We're gonna have a fair amount of line out, and we're going to cock our wrist up and then flip forward. 
and we're pointing that rod to right, right where we want those flies to go. If we point that rod nice and firm, those flies will follow, and it's simple. We don't have anything behind us, it all stays in front, and we don't have to worry about anything behind. So all we're doing is we're actually doing a load through the line here. We're totally stopping at the top, and then we're rolling forward. Simple as that.